Uh, I want to bring in Jeff Clark, and Jeff was uh, Assistant Attorney General in, in charge of this kind of entire area, particularly refereeing with the EPA, and he was the one that laid out a couple of months ago exactly what was supposed to happen. There, there's all there's still too much fuzziness in nomenclature. There was a controlled release, quote unquote, into the ditch of the liquid, of which they added the different cars because they said if you didn't do that it was going to blow up and send shards everywhere of, of iron everywhere and steel. And then once it was in the ditch, there was a quote-unquote controlled burn to put it into the atmosphere. So two things. They've got the, now they focus, as you said, Jeff Clark, in the incident commander, but they're sticking it on the poor fire chief. Let me be brutally frank. The fire chief, it's so far above his pay grade and his billet to make that decision. That's just an outright lie. Talk to us about what we know as of today, Jeff Clark, how you've nailed this, and where do we go from here, sir? Sure, Steve. Well, thanks for having me on about this, and it's important to just keep hammering this, as you say, for for the people of East Palestine. Um, let's take a step back and, and look at how this has evolved, right? So Norfolk Southern says that the fire chief was the incident commander. He made the call to do the controlled burn and the release to the ditch, okay? That's questionable in and of itself, but that's what they said, and that's what they also told the Senate, right? Next, uh, we had uh, the uh, folks from DOT, I think, you know, at Pete Buttigieg's attempt to kind of cover his ass, telling uh, CNN that the EPA administrator made the call to, and the EPA people made the call to do that controlled burn, okay? Then, uh, we have the fact that EPA says they did not do it, um, that it was Norfolk Southern, okay? And then we have the Pennsylvania witness you just showed at the end of the clips saying that Norfolk Southern did it, right? So you have like a complete circular motion as to who supposedly did this. They're all pointing fingers at each other. And there are two witnesses who say that it was Norfolk Southern who did this. And but, then you have but, the but, agencies but, 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 but hang on, but hang on. Whoa, 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 stop. Norfolk Southern has no authority in this position whatsoever. As soon as it crashes, it goes off the rail. You go to the National Response Center. Walk me through the chain of command here. It goes to the National so, Response Center. Automatically, by definition, the National Response Center, you have an in, then it goes back, it has an incident commander, right? That incident commander, correct me if I'm wrong, is a senior EPA official. It, 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 I just want to walk through that's the, that is the, the regulation. In black and white, is it not, sir? That is. So there's a statute on point, as I pointed out before to you, Steve. It's uh, the Clean Water Act, uh, Section 311C, uh, and it specifically directs that the president shall direct all response actions, uh, federal, state, and private, and private. And then there's an executive order that delegates that power either to uh, the Coast Guard, if you're talking about something that's you know off on the sea, or to here, because you're talking about an inland water, to EPA. So EPA is where the delegation rests. EPA is in charge of how to do the response. So EPA can't just sit back and, and, and let uh, Norfolk Southern drive the train, as it were. And you have this former EPA official, and now EPA itself, basically admitting that they did not follow the law, that they let Norfolk Southern does, you know, do that. So that's expedient for them because they can try to say, oh, it's Norfolk Southern and point the, the finger at them. But it's simultaneously admitting that they did not carry through with their duties under the law. They violated their duties under the law. And that former EPA official you saw in the, in the clips, Judith, she needs to talk to the EPA uh, IG as soon as possible to give her perspective about how this should have happened and how the story makes no sense. She also needs to be interviewed by uh, the criminal uh, lawyers that uh, Governor Shapiro said he was going to sick on this. So this is, you know, a, a bombshell piece of new information, Steve. And whatever way you look at it, EPA uh, either, you know, uh, fell down under their duties under the law or they're just trying to engage in a CYA exercise. We, the point I was making in East Palestine is that you pay $6 trillion a year for this. The EPA is going to be the biggest one that they come out whining about, that you can't cut it, you can't cut it, you can't cut it. What is their function then? This, is, this I would argue, is their most important function among everything. When a hazardous material event happens, 
The EPA is supposed to be the on-scene commander. Yes, they do a lot of things in regulation. They're checking creeks all the time and, you know, checking all this environmental stuff, whether it makes sense or not. I got that. They're bureaucrats, the administrative state. But this is really, this is where they're called into action in the defining moment, right? This is what they're supposed to be, the, 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 sent, the task and purpose of EPA in the moment of a catastrophe and disaster is to be the on-scene commander, the on-scene commander representing the president of the United States, correct? This is what correct. they do. How can they have all this shuffling around and Regan sitting there and he's crying and saying, you know, they're so important, our job is. And heck, he was on a plane over to Africa to go on some boondoggle over there on, on the cult of climate change. He doesn't give a crap. And who, who's in charge of this? Who is it? Is it the Commerce Committee? Is it oversight? Why is nobody? How come these guys haven't been in Keeled Hall? And why did the staffs let Norfolk Southern off the hook? Why did the Republican staffs not already have this vetted? Heck, if War Room can do this two months ago, why can't congressional staffs do it? Why are these guys like leaning on their rakes, brother? Well, Steve, look, I think they've been focused on uh, the genesis of the accident and how to try to make sure that you don't have these train derailments. And that's obviously an important issue, but it's not the only issue. This issue that we've been uh, focused on and putting our finger on deeply for months has been who ordered this control burn. And you just heard in the clips you played in the cold open, an EPA official, former regional administrator of Region 2, say, you know, this seems like a mistaken decision. This is not the right decision to have made. Did they even do any analysis, right? This is what the IG at EPA needs to get to the bottom of. And it's also what the Senate uh, EPW committee should be getting to the bottom of. It's important for them, you know, to try to uh, minimize and reduce the number of train derailments, but this issue of EPA mismanagement is just terrible. This is 10 times bigger. 